Hello everybody, I'm Grand Enemy and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization Beyond Earth. So, last time we just finished up a war with uh, these idiots, the Slavs. Yes. And now we're going to situate and settle in and do some uh, management of our cities. These and other fun stuff. They will be, they are under martial law for another two turns. I don't think the Slavic Federation is going to be uh, messing with me here for a while. Considering I pretty much, well, they might, but then again, I hope they don't. Um, you're going to establish a trade route. Um, New Babylon. Eight energy and three culture. Where is this New Babylon you speak of? Uh, you are going to go into the water. You are situa resituating there. You are going to set up for range and then fortify. The more I know about the area around me, the easier things we're going to get. This guy's going to continue up north. I've got a ton of floatstone sitting up here. Uh, down here, going to be a Xeno nursery. Yeah, a trade depot in two turns up here in Uzbek. And then peace is being made. Peace was made down south between these two. Oh, I found the top of the map. That's nice to see. And there's a city right there. Twenty-five affinity. That might get us to level five. I'm hoping that gets us to level five harmony. Because now I've got ten bio xenomass under my belt. Well actually seven. Okay. You're going to come ashore there. You're going to go to sea there. You're going to build an institute. You're going to build a trade depot. Alright. Too much gun. Our rocket, rocket battery stands complete, and yet it's not prepared to fire. It seems we overestimated the amount of ignition gel required to launch a rocket. In what is certainly a first, our ballistic technicians report the rockets are too explosive and firing them would threaten the city's safety. However, the shell can be redistributed to either the payload or the propulsion system, thereby negating the risk and increasing the effectiveness. So, we can go five city strength or one city orbital strike. Let's uh, put it into the actual payload. That's a funny one. Alrighty. Uh, I've got two more... Uh, yeah, I've got a lot of Xenomass, actually. Seven turns until tissue engineering. I've got to be, like, the only one left on... Or one of the few left on uh, gunboats instead of on cruisers here. Not entirely happy about that, though. Yeah, I could... I could really, l I would really like to have some new, some more units. Uh, this guy is actually going to go up here and start work up on him. Um, kind of kinda like I've got a lot of gunboats and stuff. Let's actually start sending these guys around. 
use them as as explorers at this point for the seas because this is Tau Ceti D. It said it was an Ar Arpeg. Yeah, that word. World cell. Yeah, let's uh, get some more knowledge of the world per se. Alright, you are done. Uh, I've got a hill there that's on, uh, So uh, now I'm just kind of sitting back and, and uh... Aho! Paul Australia is getting into uh, the higher reaches now. Um... I'll overlook it this time. Steel tech, go. I could really use some tech right now. Alrighty. One turn until tissue engineering. Yes, I know. Minor powers. Natural selection yes. is an effective process for organic optimization, but is too slow to be truly useful. Some. You only have to look at the ecosystems outside to get a master class in power systems, combat tactics, engineering, applied genetics, interpersonal relationships, and love. Alrighty. Uh, go, let's go around just gather more information. Uh, going, going to run around like so. They're going to come up onto shore. Alrighty. 20 against land, 20 against sea. We're actually going to go against sea this time. And we also have access to the Xeno Swarm now. Strength 22, movement of 2. Uh, research is going to go into... Hmm... Let's shift uh, research around here. We're going to go alien life forms here. Transcendental mass. Then, um... We're going to pull out and go towards terraforming and alien ethics. Our production here is going to be a network. Okay. There. There we go. Uh, let's see here. I am third. Having nine affinity levels. Four in supremacy. Five in um, harmony. Doing a little bit of both it looks like. Uh, CO is... 
Uh, Suzanne there is guarded. Friendly. Got a truce with him. Different affinity. Different affinity. Share the affinity. This is what I like to see right there. Alright. Next turn, please. Shut up. I take you on again, you are going to die. Uh No, actually. I don't, you damn You are purity? Well, now that we've actually gotten up to a a certain point in uh, in harmony in our levels we can now work towards uh, getting even better uh, this is actually I'm going to turn you into a, a well All right. again just kind of running around getting the seas mapped now You are going to shift that way. You're going to go this way. <laughs> You're going to go this way. Got a lot of units anymore. Um, let's peel another another guy here. Oh, wrong thing. Okay. So that's the cinder. Combat rover upgrades at eight. Gunboat. Go upgrades at 10. Missile rover upgrades at 9. Granger at 7, which means the soldier should be next with the brawler. Attack jet also is our next level. And then Xeno swarm at level 12. Okay. And we're getting the alien preserve next turn or in two turns which isn't that what I need for a quest no that's not it alien preserve yep that's it okay yeah Paul Australia's already got Tritons out. Hey, look, there's a Leviathan and a uh, Sea Dragon. Alrighty, you here? Uh, no. You're gonna shift to there. Hey, look, there's an Arc Colonist moving around. Also, I will be healing in Miasma. Right here in a few turns. Or in another couple of levels. We have discovered alien life on our new world. Unsurprisingly, it grows, reproduces, dies and cannot understand French. Okay. Alright. You're gonna do there. You're going to go right there. Alright, alien nest there. Alien nest there. That con- They- They're con- Them condemning me has expired, which means my con- Nation of them should expire this turn.
This island has a lot of freaking floatstone on it. Open borders expired. Damn. could really use some technology. Resource pod. I'm gonna pop up there. You're going to do a Xeno well there. You're gonna come up there and you're gonna do a mine up there. Here, per you. We're gonna go back and do tech. Over here. We're gonna throw in that. Down here in liqueur. We're gonna bring in a alien preserve. And we're going to bring in our next turn here. Venga, volvamos más ricos. Um, I'm going to refuse that because I actually want the Xenomass. I'm going to be using it here soon. Um. I have no interest in that agreement at the moment. Okay. More of you. How much of you is there? Holy crap! Worker, commence mining. You, commence farming. Veterancy. Alien nest. Eight xenomass on there. So, we just got a lot of xenomass just kind of sitting all over the place here. Oh. You're Paul Australian. You're the Commonwealth. It says I'm more powerful than he is. I don't entirely believe him. Believe the... I don't entirely believe that. For reasons. Damn, there's a lot of units down here. Oh, this is African Union. Okay. Oh, they've got carriers. I would love to have carriers. Where is the carrier? It's with fabrication? If I got carriers... Well, I'm working on... Crap, what am I working on right now? I'm working on Transcendental Maths? Nope, you're switching over to that. Then there. And then that. And then that! Okay, research fixed. Alien Preserve, go. You've got a lab in one turn. you got an Alien Preserve in a turn. Turn, awesome. Also got Mag Rails with Fabrication. And the Alloy Foundry.
Okay. Just kind of moving stuff around here. Conti continuing my exploration. Quest decision. Alrighty, our research shows these aliens can not only be trained to perform complex tasks, but can even show affection. How will this information affect our f relationship with these creatures? Should we put them to work on our farms or give them peaceful homes with our family? Uh, train for labor gives us supremacy. Adopt for wildlife life gives us harmony. We're going to go with harmony. Harmony. Okay, there we go. Pets have long been an important part of human households. Small local wildlife we adopt. The fewer threats we face from outside the city. We have invaded the lives of these aliens. It is only right that we now improve them. 18. We discarded the booster rockets which got us off Earth. Why shouldn't we discard some of those Earth genes? Now that better ones are available. Yes, we already heard that. Alrighty. Now that got, uh, got us up to level 6. Alright, production down here. It's going to be towards a Xeno swarm. I'm actually going to get, you know, I'm going to be getting a few more things here. This is going to go, be an ultrasonic fence. Up here, we're going to go to Brawler. Plus 10 strength, uh, plus 40% when not next to any friendly unit, or 20 HP damage to adjacent enemy units on death. Um. Uh, these guys are kind of the out, outsets, so up here, 30% win of uh, 15 against land and sea, confirm. There's my needle jets. These treaty expired, that's that, that's that. Alrighty, so next time on Let's Play Civilization Beyond Earth, uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, it's a definite possibility that I will continue to, you know, I'm guessing I will be going up more and more towards, uh, bringing up our, both, both bringing up more health, getting some more culture in. Um, like, I'm pretty much all set on me, on my expansion, in terms of, of actual cities that I control. Well, don't get me wrong, I would love to keep bringing in more and more, but I don't know if that's going to be possible just yet. I do want to actually integrate both of these cities, so that might be what we work towards next time. But until then, I've been Grand Enemy, you guys have been awesome, and I'll see you all later.